It's Patrice here. I am back home and excited. But um I don't know, I'm just happy to be home. I like it. I like it home. At home rather. Um I'm thinking about just different um things with the um like I was I was telling one of my friends about the man that um cussed me out <laughs> in LA about um because I wasn't wearing a mask um at the beach and he thought I should have on one. But um um what was what's what I find interesting in a bad way about this whole thing is that like for the people who are really um vocal about um the need to wear masks i'm talking about just random people um like nobody seems to also be talking about um actually not even just them just period right where are the people saying okay this is what the kind of thing that you should be doing these are the preventative measures you need to take besides wearing a mask and um the social distancing and the um washing your hands where like where's the other stuff you know and i'm like my goodness i take for granted that everyone knows certain things i like you have people on one end of um there's always a spectrum with everything it seems you have you have some people who when they learn something they feel like nobody else has you know like is privy to that same information and so they got to tell you about it and they tell you in a know-it-all way like you couldn't have possibly learned this you know without me being the one to teach you I'm on the other end of that spectrum because I tend to feel like like oh this is common knowledge you know people know this stuff but they don't you know I'm seeing like more and more and um the kind of stuff I'm talking about is like I think it was um I don't remember if it was Socrates or or the other guy um Hippocrates I don't know but anyway he said let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food right that's how I live I don't I don't very often eat junk I feel like like my chiropractor's wife she always says there's food and there's junk there's not it's not junk food like you know <laughs> she was like uh, nah it's one or the other you know and um I used to eat all the like you know crappy things I did I grew up eating a lot of crap and and I loved it but after I had my third child well while I was pregnant with her my midwife um that I had at that dirt for that pregnancy she started to talk to me about diet because midwives are big on diets and which the OBGYN should be too but they're not they don't know anything it's crazy but anyway because the diet is like the most one of the most important things if not the most important during you know for life period but especially like pregnancy and all but um because it could make or break things and make it such that you have a full-term baby versus not and you know so many different issues come from the foods we eat and um so um and that we have control over you know so at least to a degree a great degree for for many of us so um i'm like like for instance so i didn't know where i was going with this trip so I couldn't prepare but or I could only prepare but so much but thankfully where we were they are um, I mean in California they're um, more health conscious conscious anyway so that worked out I mean shoot we went to a dag on target and found these little um, probiotic shots that um, we sometimes get um, well, actually, my husband gets a ginger one in New York sometimes, but um, we found some here. I mean, there, and um, and so we took those, and and they, I'm talking about like things that would have like like elderberry, like people 
people think, you know, like cold and flu, they think echinacea. And I'm like, no, not that echinacea is bad, but elderberry is is your go-to. If I had to choose, it would be elderberry and ginger all day. Like elderberry, ginger. There's so many other things that you can do that are more effective and more like, um, especially when it comes to like preventative. Like who wants to get sick in the first place? You don't want to be on the other end um, dealing with illness. But um, God forbid you do, you know, these are things that you could use on both sides of it to stave it off, to catch it in time and, you know, get rid of it, all kinds of stuff and for any illness. And so like as far as like infections and stuff, but, um, you know, like I'm, I came home like late last night and it was sad cause we got home and one of our birds died and we suspect that one killed the other and so that was not fun and we're still like processing that but it was kind of um like oh my gosh because you come in and the bird and of course it's the nice bird <sighs> we got two mean birds and a nice one or well, we had a nice one and um she um you know like she's laying in a weird way and like like in a way that she does not lay and you know it was just sad and so um, I'm looking around. I'm not even wanting to deal with my feelings about it because I'm looking at my children and my um, youngest daughter. She's freaking out in her own way, like the way that she freaks out. She she asks a million questions, none of which anyone can answer because we were all gone, <laughs> and, you know. And um, and then um, my middle daughter, the second one she she's the bird lover she's the reason we had the the two doves in the first place um and I'm looking around the house I'm like wait where is she and because she'll go off on her own and you know and deal and not necessarily in the best manner and so I'm looking all over the house for her can't find her and God is like go outside I go outside she's out in the backyard in the dark digging a grave and so I helped her and um and so we we buried the bird and then at some point one one of us was like did anybody tell Joshua does he know what's going on do the boys know what's going on now John is only three so you know he's he don't know what's going on but Joshua you know he's six and so it's like you know you don't know if at that age they really process death properly especially in light of video games and stuff where you die and you come back you know and um and all that so um we like told him and um well we asked him if he you know understood what, what happened with crunch and he said well i know i know crunch is missing and um we explained to him that crunch died and we um you know had to bury her because we we didn't even include him in that and i, I kind of I don't know. We were just all kind of out of it and sleepy from the, the trip and everything. And so um, he he had a hard time. He was crying real bad. He gets it. Totally understands. And so that was rough. Um, and then I realized I was telling uh, my, my oldest was saying, she said, man, she said, it's like I want to cry, but I feel it's a very inconvenient time right now. And then I, I thought about how she tends to take on a motherly role she's she's five years older than her closest sibling so the age difference is pretty significant and um it's significant enough that she feels very motherly towards them um and so i'm like wow like I want her to take care of herself and you know and everything too and god said to me so you have um so you you look after the kids and you look after you know your husband and make sure everybody else is all all right like emotionally spiritually all the things and um and then you know and you see jayla doing like very similar and so you're looking after her and he's like who looks after you and i'm getting like smart and fresh depending on where you're from in dc we say smart here in the new york metro area we say fresh 
<laughs> and other places sassy and i'm like he's like who who does that for you and i was like you <laughs> and he was like join me and i was like oh <laughs> so i'm like okay so i haven't I, I haven't really dealt with how i feel about the whole thing yet but um i will well um so it's just uh it's just kind of sad you know and then I don't remember what else I was going to say, but I'm at the store now, so I'm going to end this video. But, um, yeah, a lot, lot of stuff going on. This is my pretend mask. But, um, because <laughs> it's like, you know, they don't even care what you're covering with. And somebody did a meme today that had a picture. Maybe I'll edit this video. I don't like editing, editing all the time, but um, most of the times I don't edit for this. But, um, maybe I'll edit it and add in this picture of this meme. They showed the the types of mask uh, masks people wear for asbestos spray painting, and I can't remember the other two, uh, the other thing. And then they showed the mask for this. Um, they said, uh, um, uh, "Dang, what did they call it?" They was talking about COVID. But they was like, they called it like a, um, it was a dangerous, you know, virus or whatever. And they, somebody had a, like a bandana made kind of mask on. And, and it was like, you know, like, yeah, I mean, these people are having on these like diesel serious masks for these other things. And, and this is okay. Like, you know, but, um. I don't know and and it was interesting too someone else said something about how you know in in other um like asian countries they um have been for many years wearing masks um like when they're sick they wear masks to you know protect others and everything and and i think the person that posted it was posting it in favor of everybody wearing masks to protect each other and and everything and i'm i'm like i didn't even like respond because for what but i'm like okay so if they've been doing it for years why didn't it protect them from covid it they still were hit hard very hard twice some of those countries so you know and i'm not saying I, i'm just saying we need to do more than this whole mask bit like it's just yeah i don't know and then there's the, you know all the censoring of of videos that you know whoever you know don't want us to see and all this stuff and um and and it's, it's just insane it's just insanity what we're dealing with right now but meanwhile like i came home and immediately i have some um ionic uh I have my silver, um, my colloidal silver. I have my um, ionic zinc, and I have um, I made some. Just put some gummy elderberries in the fridge, and um, last night when we got home, everybody had some um, essential oils like in their diffusers, and those who was wanting to take some internally did that too. We have one um, called, um, well, one company calls it Thieves. Another one calls it Immunity Boost. And so I, I, what I'm not understanding really is why those things aren't discussed. Why? Because, I mean, it's important. You know, like, the, and I'm, you have, like, like so I, I should wear the mask and think that the mask is going to protect me and just eat whatever garbage and think I'm supposed to be okay, you know? And... And, and a lot of people are okay and can be okay. Um, but as far as like, like give all the information, all of it. Don't just like, but I guess it's not very widely known, you know? Cause I mean, I'm, I'm making all kinds of probiotic foods for my household. Like that's how we eat period. Right. But I've beefed it up even more and made, because different ones, oh, I don't like salsa or I don't really care for applesauce or you know i don't really like sauerkraut you know whatever so i'm i'm making all of it you know so that there's something for everybody and and it's just food you know like we eat every day several times 
So why not make it such that it's helping us and not hurting us? You know? So I don't know. I don't get this place. It's just it's insane. But at the same time, I love this place. I love my country. And I'm proud. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> but um and I don't care what nobody thinks about that. I don't care. Because I have my um you know, I don't have to sit and explain all the reasons why and, you know, whatever. But um, somebody said something about, like, you know, like, like we did, we, the black people built this place for free. No, the hell we didn't. It was not free. Not by a long shot. Boo. Like, you kidding me? Stupid. But anyway, um, and that's why, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is my country, okay? Because my ancestors built this joker. So, it's just as much my country as somebody else's. And if you drop me in Africa somewhere, I wouldn't know where to go. You know? Well, actually, I do. But, <laughs> no, no. I, don't, I wouldn't know where to go as far as, like, where I am from. But I do have places to go in Africa. Um, cause I have, you know, people there that welcome me as family. And so, you know, that's, there's that. And it's really cute cause they're rich. So, <laughs> so I could be quite comfortable there. But, um, anyway, I'm going to go and do what I got to do. Cause my husband bought me a banging salad in LA and I'm going to recreate that Joker just now. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I love you. I really do. And um, I pray all is well with you and your family and that you're safe and happy. And, and if you're not, I speak comfort and peace and joy over you. And I pray that you are allowing yourself to feel the feelings, knowing that they will come and they will go. You know, it's okay. It's all right. Be where you are, you know. So... Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Bye.